Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, Legendary Weapon Review. So in this video we're going to be re reviewing uh, Bloody 33% uh, VATS hit chance and 25% less uh, VATS action point cost uh, plasma gun. But in today's video we're going to re review it at, on my commando build. So this is an automatic uh, plasma gun. So I already made a few full review of the pistol. I made a review for the rifle, now it's time for the commando. At the moment I give my preps to the rifle because it saves on ammo and uh, we'll see how the commando will do. I'm pretty sure it's going to be good, it, it's a little bit less damage but it's a lot quicker. Anyway, we'll see it in action right now. Remember, as we go, we go kill our test subjects, then I'll show you my mods, well you can see them right now by the way. Uh, then I'm gonna go into my build, my mutations, armor, and all that, all of that stuff, including additional information where to get this. I mean, this gun, the mods, and stuff like that. So, stop wasting time. Jump right into it. All right, so the first targets will be the humans and the uh, behemoth. Uh, the reason why I have included humans is because due to the daily ops, and uh, as we all know, uh, we do have Blood Eagles as one of the possible enemy factions. So I was hoping to show you how it all, uh, like, how it's effective against humans as well. So uh, with my pistol and rifle build, I was two shotting these guys, and as Let's see a little bit more how we're performing here. The only difference here is that we are... Okay, it's three shot, but I still initiate that fourth shot because it's actually pretty fast in terms of shooting. Uh, but yeah, plus I really like the sound as well. Uh, my favorite sounds uh, from this specific gun is uh, the rifle and the automatic version. Yeah, three shots, so basically it is going down a little bit on, on damage but it's a really decent gun against humans as you can see uh, and I'm most probably going to be using like switching to the commando playstyle when I over farm the ultra uh plasma cartridges I believe you need for this one yeah plasma cartridges uh, wait uh, plasma plasma oh cockroach ultra side plasma yeah 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 whatever I'm super tanky. Yeah, plasma cartridge. My bad. Get out of here. Yeah, my build is tanky as well, although I'm bloody. Uh, I'll show you the perks uh, uh, in the correct section. If you want to jump straight out over there, uh, then feel free to use the timestamps uh, to get over there. All right. So the where the hell are you? Where is the behemoth? He is supposed to be here. Oh, I ran the wrong way. There it is. All right, what are you, behemoth? The rifle did a really good job because of its range. By the way, let's check out how good with the range is this. Uh, anyway, he's coming. By the way, there is, there are sometimes server lags, so it's not registering the damage sometimes. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do? None. Get out of here. <laughs> Even though. Bloody, but I'm still tank. What's up? <laughs> uh, next target, Super Mutants. West Tech, here I come. Alright, Super Mutants are West Tech. Def all, as always, uh, the top location to farm these uh, cockroaches. So there we go. Pretty decent. No problem. Although you do overspend ammo, that's for sure. Like, instead of when I'm using, like, the rifle, Definitely this one is throwing away ammo, but it's fun. I mean, as I said, I'm most probably going to use this commando when I'm going in uh, like fun mode or just kill mode when I have a lot of extra ammo to spend. At the moment, that's not the case. I need to refarm my ammo. I just got 3,500 ammo left. And if I keep playing like this, man, I'm going to end up having no ammo on the double XP. So yeah. Is actually performing very nice, but I would still stick with the uh, with the rifle. But but oh, I guess people already cleared it, cleared this area out. Yes, they did. Well, obviously they did. It's double XP. 
I want to see tomorrow how will the flamer perform. That's I'm curious about. I heard a lot in the other videos in the comments that the flamer was really really nice. So next targets would be our robots. The pistol and the rifle had issues with the robots. What the hell? Oh look at the range of this thing as well. Not bad, not bad. I like it, I like it. So basically, as I was saying, well not issues, it just takes four shots to kill them and uh, the ammo capacity in the rifle and the pistol um, using the sniper barrel I had eight bullets in one clip. With this one got 27 so let's see if it will like at least four shot and these like pow, 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 would be even better. Alright, so our testing we'll do in Vatilga. For those of you who do not know where Vatilga is, is right here. So we're gonna have a few robots over here and we'll be able to pretty much identify uh, if it's any good or not. The sentry bots are easy bots that so you gotta do is just shoot them. Oh. Not bad. Although I would say you need a little bit more extra shots. So, it shoots two bullets at the same time once I just click the button once. So, seven shots required to take him out. Four, rifle. Yeah, rifle is, economically speaking, rifle is definitely better. But, this one is definitely much higher. Fire rate more uh, ammo capacity and as I said I mean basically I'm gonna be using most probably this sort of uh, commando weapon style when I need to spend a little bit of ammo I can't wait to test it out against the flying scorch beast and final target will be our assaultron over here we've got some decent range on it so it's pretty good but the AP that really sucks uh, I need to yeah I didn't play my musical instrument to increase my AP regen and most probably I'm not using my AP regen armor because I'm focusing on intelligence right now and uh, most probably and yeah I did forget to change my armor but anyway we can see robots not a problem at all and now we're gonna go to uh, let's just go to this Fisher site to test it against the scorched and uh, these scorched beasts I removed ghouls from the list because they are kind of easy to kill if you want me to put them on the list like White Springs Golf Club, let me know down in the comments and I will include them with the next weapons. Alright, so here we are at the Fisher site. We should be having a couple of these guys and there is our target. Yeah, the rifle definitely has a better range. At this site, I usually see it as a 95% hit chance. And the AP, obviously because it's faster fire rate, is being drained much more. Besides, I'm not using my foot buff. Uh, to increase my AP regeneration. Usually I have everything prepared, but I wasn't prepared at all for the double XP and stuff like that. But whatever I have right now, it already seems to be good. Okay, to be honest, based just on these current shots that I just did, I would say the uh, plasma rifle is way better. But... Okay, if you actually let it come a little bit closer to you... <laughs> You can melt it. <laughs> uh, do we have another uh, Fisher site that is not nuked? There must be one here. Yeah, let's go try it again. I'm very curious. Alright, let's go. What level are you? I hope you're uh, level 75. Yes, and it's a legendary. Cool. So, because of the range, that's most probably what happened. And I didn't like the results. See, so if you get it, get her up close like this. Then, I could say you're actually doing a better job than with the rifle. Like, have it close, I mean, that was like, what, two less than two seconds, maybe? Two seconds? One second? <laughs> yes, sir. I like, I like, I like a lot. Alright, let's go to the other information regards mods, builds, mutations, uh, gear, and all that stuff. Alright, so the mods that I'm using is the Prime Capacitor. 
by the way, the plan for the prime one, you can only loot it from the queen fight as far as I know. So you only need to kill some queens in order to get access to this capacitor. Uh, stabilized automatic barrel. That would be over here. And I have all the, some of them actually require a science expert to uh, implement, like use, but that's what I use. I prefer using uh, allied aligned stock and uh, small reflex sight. Nothing too fancy. By the way, if you remove the stock and you make it a pistol, it will become an automatic pistol, <laughs> which I'm not gonna cover. Because pistols, I mean, I don't know. Let me know if you want me to cover this same gun, but on the automatic pistol. I did the gunslinger, like the single shot. Would you want? Do you, would you like to see it being performing as an automatic pistol? Let me know, know down in the comments, and I'll uh, deliver that. So these are my mods that I use. Let's go to my build. So my build. Uh, all of the legendary perks are topped with the, the specials. I'm looking forward to increase my uh, perception to the maximum level which, and it's going to make it great. Uh, for now, there's double XP. I usually remove the edrance and lower my defense a little bit and, and, and replace it with intelligence to maximum my intelligence so I can get the maximum amount of XP. Uh, but on this video, that's how I run it. Uh, basically, it's my commando build. Right? Uh, so. At the strength, we have uh, Traveling Pharmacy, Barbarian uh, for defense, a Bandolier for ammo carry weight, and uh, Blocker, also defensive per card. More damage, Tank Killer, uh, Concentrated Fire to make those headshots, and one star only uh, Commandos. Uh, then I've got... What's going on here? Hi, hi, hi. Making a video, sorry. <laughs> Alright, uh... Edrance, Life Giver, Fireproof, Radical, and Ironclad. These are all defensive. Uh, Charisma, Inspiration for Max uh, XP. If I'm solo player, I remove the Stranger Numbers and Inspirational and go with the Lone Wanderer, Lone Wanderer which is even better. Uh, less damage and uh, more AP regen, which is good in my case since I blast out all of my AP really fast. Uh, Field Sergeant, I combine it with First Aid and the uh, Born Survivor, so the stim pack is triggered and I uh, kind of heal myself quicker and uh, since I'm using diluted stim packs mainly, because I dilute all my stim packs, uh, this helps me to, for the effect to last longer. Uh, tenderizer for more extra damage when I'm hitting the same target. Then we got Nerd Rage, obviously, since I'm bloodied, uh, to reduce the weight of my uh, energy ammo. Scrapper Gunsmith helps for the guns not to break quickly. You all know that mo some guns break super fast, especially explosive ones like two shots and stuff like that. By the way, I think Tier made a video uh, uh, made a video today about that. You might want to check it out. Uh, T Y R. That's how it's spelled. YouTube search. <laughs> uh, okay, Action Boy. AP regen, evasive for more defense, bone survivor, defensive per card. Every time I get hit, I'm always under level 20, uh, under 20%, right? So it triggers only when I get hit. It plus, uh, there is a 20, 20 second delay. And trust me, uh, first question that will hit you if you're watching this and you haven't watched any of other videos, Z, where are you getting all the stim packs? Answer, daily ops. A lot of stim packs over there. I do plan to make a separate video just uh, covering that topic because it's a pretty big one. You will find useful. Uh, useful. I'll try to do it next week. Uh, White Knight and Adrenaline. Uh, White Knight so my armor doesn't break fast. This armor, once you're taking hit, it also breaks fast. If you're like sneaky build, then you don't have to worry about this because you pretty much don't get hit. So your armor is good. But if you're not sneaky, you well, I use this because I hate to repair my armor every like 5 or 10 minutes. Uh, Green Sprint, uh, after each kill, get a full uh, action point restore restoration. This is a uh, must have pretty much in all my builds because I'm pretty much using AP all the time. Apart from the heavy guns because you don't use uh, uh, VATs there. Uh, Serendipity, defensive card, class freak with star genes always stay on. These are the mutation perk cards. This reduces the negative effect of my mutation by 75%. And mutation doesn't allow me to get or lose my mutations. 
and good with salt obviously so my food doesn't spoil really fast so that's my bill you can pause it re and review it copy it do as you wish or even modify it and m put more damage into it and you're gonna be even more powerful but I'm good as is <laughs> my I don't aim to make super OP builds I make to make balance builds balanced that's why I have one build that can carry like my main build I can transform myself into any type of weapon usage at any time <laughs> and I like it uh, these are my mutations, m mutations, adrenal reaction, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, herbivore, uh, herd mentality, marsupial, scaly skin, and de uh, speed demon. So, this is my preferred list. So, uh, on this video I was right, I forgot to switch my gear and I was using not the most defensive uh, gear. So basically, a, a two star with intelligence plus unyielding, well all of my armor is unyielding just to make clear, make it clear. I am looking for uh, better loot with my secret service armor and I'll try to find all the needed like uh, unyielding intelligence secret service will be for my XP farming unyielding with weapon weight reduction will be for my like and action points ref uh, reflash speed for my adventure modes like uh, uh, farming mode etc and uh, uh for PvP if I plan to do any in the nearest future when the game gets even more balancing so uh, yeah, it's pretty much unyielding and action points reset. That's pretty much it. And as additional information, uh, you can un like where to get the mods. I already explained that to, in order to get the prime mod, you will need to fight queens and hope to get one. Uh, that's as far as I know. I don't know any other methods of getting this prime capacitor for this weapon, unless you buy from another player, for instance. That's another way. <laughs> uh, you can get the plan to actually make this weapon at uh, the following locations. That would be the White Springs uh, Resort. Uh, there's going to be the Brotherhood of Steel vendor. You can get grab one from him, or Vatoga Shopping Plaza. Uh, you can get there's a vendor there as well, and you can uh, get the actual weapon. In order to unlock mods for this weapon, well, you need to uh, neither farm the plasma gun. From Blood Eagles, I know that they have it for sure. At least, like in one location, you can gr definitely grab one, and uh, or you can craft them and scrap them. So basically, you either farm them and scrap them, or you craft them and scrap them. So once you scrap them, uh, you unlock mods. So let me show you here for a sec. As you can see, I have uh, unlocked all of the mods for this gun, and I actually did not uh, craft scrap. I was just farming Blood Eagles, but back in the day, and it became handy and when I was like, how many mods do I have? 40 out of 40. I'm like, okay, that's good. Like, for example, I, I, I did get a new drop and I'm going to make a new video on a two-shot, uh, this weapon right here. Two-shot, that's hits, and 25% less action points. Man, I'm just lucky with these ones. Like, And I don't have all the mods for it, so I plan to craft some and scrap some uh, a little bit later on and deliver that review as well. It's actually pretty powerful as well. With the mods that I've been using, I just tested out real fast on the stream and bam bam. By the way, I got it from a cricket. Level 100 cricket. <laughs> Kill those three star crickets, man. <laughs> Alright, Z-Clan and everybody else, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, I see them, I read them. And I'd lead them. By the way, I always get asked what is that armor? That is a caravan trader outfit from the Atomic Shop. And by the way, if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so I have from Ukraine. And uh, once again, all the useful links you can find in, under my video description if you want to show additional support or if you want to join our Discord community. Uh, which is about to hit 800 members, but I do encourage you to read the rules once you're joining and especially read the rules for the trade chats as well. Because me and my mods, we don't play around. If you don't follow the rules, you get easily banned. No unbanning processes. That's pretty much that's it. <laughs> and uh, once again, thanks all for watching the video. You'll have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys like it, it. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the